you know, all of that shit and your life started kind of like taking a turn and you kind of like, you know, going another I way. Yeah, yeah, you you definitely pivoted another way. I want to know like how did that uh Rich Hill relationship come about? Oh, okay. So I was in uh Atlanta and um a dude that I knew from Philly was in the mall. And uh, as soon as I was walking in, they was like walking in too, but I was like a little ahead, a little behind. And I looked and I saw him. I'm like, yo, he's like, oh shit. He's like, yo, I'm working with, with Youngin. Like, I'm like, I didn't know who Youngin was though, because I tell him, he looked like he was like in the terror squad or something. Like, he looked like a little Spanish kid, like yeah. a low, ass, <laughs> low black cut, big ass chain on. You know what I mean? He looked like terror squad or something. Yeah. I'm like, I didn't know who he was. And I was like, all right, like, you know, it's music. You want to help with some music shit? Yeah, let's get it, you know? And then that's how we met. And then he was a fan that, you know, he kind of put him on all the Philly artists and, and he got good taste, Rich. So he knew he loved Beans and he loved us. You know what I'm saying? Before, he ain't know none of that connection, nothing. It's just like how he feel. And we just got tight, you know what I'm saying? I knew he really wanted it, like music. And I knew he felt like people was going to always try to discredit him because of his situation. And mm-hmm. and that's where we connected at on a friendship level because although people look at him like, hi, y'all two friends, but we both dealt with people trying to make it seem like we not able to do something for a reason that don't make a lot of sense. You know but you I mean? rich as a motherfucker, so and people like, nah. Yeah, they like, I ain't buying it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, And for us, it was just like, they just wanted to write us off just because they just wanted to. like, cause. We wasn't like them, you know what I'm saying? Like they was just like, y'all ain't like us, but like I'm not like y'all. Y'all niggas is nuts. Like you know what I'm saying, come like, a point like how the fuck Bonnie get over there with Richie and Richie over here rapping? That's hell no. Yeah, but no, but I believe in it to this day. Like I believed in it then, you know what I'm saying? Because I know Bull. Like I really know him at the core. You know what I mean? He really solid and he really got talent. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. how did Tommy Hilfiger nigga take that all in at the time? Well, you got to think like that's his son. You know what I'm saying? And when you got kids, you got a son. Like, you know what I mean? It's like it's like at a certain point, you just want your kids to be happy. You know what I'm saying? And then you never know what a person aspirations used to be back in the day. Like before they become who they become. Like, he used to want to make music. He used to want to be in a rock group. You know what I mean? Yeah. So on that level, he he understood. And Rich is a crooner. You know, he ain't necessarily a rapper. Like, he's just a crooner. He's like he's like Bob Dylan. That's who Rich is to me. He, Do he still make music? Yeah, he still make music. And, and something I can attest to when it comes to him, something I've seen with my own two eyes, Lil Pete, we already know that because he got records with Pete and all that. But, like, Pete... XX, all those dudes, bro, all of them be hitting them up all the time, telling them how much they, uh, uh, Juice World, all of them, how much he influenced they sound. What? Because he did, bro. He That's was crazy. on that suicidal, sad boy shit, like when nobody else was doing it, bro. Like that emo shit. Yeah, he was on that. He just was. And from that perspective, pills, drugs, dark, he was on that. Yeah. So like he was ahead of his time for that like and but the real ones no because I've seen him acknowledge it like you know what I'm saying how's he doing right now he good working on music and he, he finally getting his like lane where you know he can just run yeah, yeah that's my brother for life dog like for real for real that's my real brother blood yeah brother. and a lot of people don't know you have a relationship with with schoolboy Q and you seen mm-hmm. before it was really schoolboy cute yeah. that he is now yeah. like how do you feel seeing <laughs> <laughs> how you feel seeing my boy like flourish like it's just it's so like, funny it's just so